Hello everyone, how you doing Chuckle Bunnies? Uh, I'm happy today and I hope you are happy too. I wanted to talk about an add-on which I thought was quite nifty called Move and Improve. It may not sound super impressive but actually it's really nice and there's a lot of cool functionality. So I thought I would go over this uh, add-on because the author of the add-on has been putting a lot of work into adding features and I thought it'd be a cool thing to look at. You can get Move and Improve from your favourite app store. I'm currently using wowup.io and as you can see from these images you can basically move almost everything on the screen and you can also change a lot of settings as well. The author is for the D4 KIR. So to bring up the interface, we're going to type in MAI and here's the interface. You can set the default profile in the Discord. Let's unlock the screen and as you can see, we can now basically move every element that you might want to move. So you can actually choose which ones to move and which ones you don't want to move. But this is really useful if, for example, you want to move the map down to the center of the screen or somewhere where it's easier to see. Whatever you want to do, basically. So we can move elements. These are things on the screen as in, I don't know, small boxes or whatever. We can also move whole frames. So for example, the enchanting frame, if we wanted to move that, you can also move frames, for example, and you can choose which elements that you want to be able to move. There's also the option to resize everything if we want to, so you can make your interface bigger or smaller. There's also a fairly recent feature, which is recoloring of elements and frames, which I really like. So if I open my bags, for example, you'll kind of see that they are now a more pleasant shade of green, which I find much more visually pleasing rather than the sort of sickly yellow. You can also um, change the distance we can zoom out as well as the well text scale. So if you are struggling to see the text, you can stick that up. There's also other options such as frame transparency. If that's toggled on, then when I run, my frames will usually go transparent. I think because this is open, it doesn't work. And there's a few more cool little bits. Chat icons are really good. You guys probably can't see, but whenever someone sends a message, I see a picture of their portrait in class. So this saves a lot of time if someone um, whispers me saying, hey, do you want to go on a group run or something? I can see what class they are and I can see if they're a mage or a warlock or a priest, for example. Really useful. A really nice feature also is the ability to see the eye level on all of my items. And this is a feature that can be turned on and off in your character information screen. I can see, for example, my neck has an eye level of 141, which I can't usually see, so that's really useful to me. It also makes it easier just to see what kind of item it is at a glance. Is it a green, a blue, or a purple item? So yeah, I mean, I guess that's most of um, what the add-on can do. There's a few other bits and bobs which um, I'm not going to really spend too much time exploring, but... The last feature I'll go into is also incredibly useful. Let's say I wanted to make a complicated item and this required enchanting and the blacksmithing windows to both be open. Well, actually, I've noticed a bit of a bug in the program here. Let's just go with blacksmithing. Um, if I say want to create, oh, I don't know, uh, something which requires a lot of stuff, I can literally open up the auction house here, drag my blacksmithing window wherever I want it. I can go up to the name here, hold shift. I can literally just click the um, item that I want to look up. 
and that will very very quickly show me how much these are costing for example and it saves a lot of time it also means things are a lot easier to manage so for example i could also load up the um our first aid for example or you know the cooking or whatever or i could look load up a sort of um vendor item slot as well so yeah it just makes basically navigating uh the game interface slightly nicer because i can move things to where i want them anyway guys that's basically it for the video hope you enjoyed it and i hope i'm not forgetting any features but that's yeah mostly it let's have a good day and goodbye